All right, we're going to calculate a GPA today really quickly. A little short semester where you only took three classes, where English was three credits, math was four credits, and science was six credits. And here's your grades you got that semester. Do you know the four-point scale for calculating your grades, Alejandra? Yes, I do. All right, let's write those down really quick. All right, Alejandra indicated over here what each letter grade is worth. We're not going to do pluses and minuses on this video because whatever, it's fine. All right, so which one of these classes is going to impact your grade the most? Science. And which one the least? English. Okay, so a six credit class is going to co cost more. <laughs> cost more and impact you more. But you've got to be in there so we're good. Math, C, oh well, whatever. Um, so let's calculate this. It's called a weighted mean, um, but we need to take into account the number of credits and the letter grade here. So we're going to make a little table. All right, here's our little table, our three credit class. We got an A, so what numeric value does an A carry? A four. Awesome, so we're going to do a four there. Four credit class math, how many points? Um, two. So we get two points, and then a six credit class with a B is? Three. But it's a three, but it's a three for six credits. So we got six credits of three. So we could write it out kind of longhand like this, which seems kind of painful, but I think you need to see it to see what you're doing. We can do that we got three credits of four. So four plus four plus four. That right there whoosh, is English. Is this going to fit? I don't know. Plus, we got four credits of C, so two plus two plus two plus two. That shh, is math. This isn't all going to fit. Oh, well, we'll make it work. Plus six credits of B. Who can I do this? Let's see. All right, so we've got three fours for the three credits with an A, four twos for the four credits with a C, and six credits where we get those three grade points for the B. Did I do that wrong? I did it right. Good. Okay. So all together, we would divide this out by the number of credits we got. This is way long complicated, but I'll make it short and pretty in a minute. So all together, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen total credits, which we could have done much faster by going six plus four is ten plus three is thirteen, but whatever. Here it is, thirteen credits. We can add that up and divide to get our GPA, but that's way time consuming. Is there a better way to do this? All right, rather than doing all that crazy adding of stuff up, we did four three times. So instead of adding that three, woo, or four, yeah, four three times, instead of doing four plus four plus four, what can we do? We can multiply it. Yay! Let's do three fours. So three times four equals 12. What are we going to do here? Four times two. Yep, four times two, which is usually eight. And then here, this was the part that like was killing me here. We have six threes, which is the same as six times three. Six times three. I think that's 18. <laughs> A little tired here. Okay, so 18. So what these are called right here, they are called quality points. And what you do is you add up all of your quality points. 18 plus 12 is 30, plus 8 is 38. Am I right, Alejandra? Because you add better than me? Yes. Okay, good. 38. Well, do we divide 38 by 3? No. Okay. What do we divide it by? All of the credits that you attempted. Okay, so credits. This one, this is how many credits we got that semester. We added this up earlier, and it was 13, right? So we take our quality points, 38, divided by credits, and then we divide. We could do longhand, but I don't feel like it. 
we get our 2.923 GPA, which does that kind of feel right? We got an A in a three credit class. Yay, we want an A, but then we got a C, but we got a B in a big six credit class. So we're pretty close to a what? We're pretty close to a B. So that feels about right, right? Yeah. All right, I think that's all we really need to say about GPA. I do want to show you one more thing really quick. I stopped this one earlier because it was just so annoying and, I don't know, juvenile, but I feel like we need to make sure it does the same thing. I think it should make sense to everybody that this is 4 plus 4 plus 4 because English was 3 credits, so that's like 3 chunks of 4, and math being 4 credits. So I just want to add these up really quickly and show you that this is the same thing, 38 divided by 13 and you still get around 2.93. Okay, so no matter whether you do it this way, which some people do because they feel more comfortable with that, or if you go ahead and do um, all this multiplication, sorry, this one's kind of messy, and divide out, it still gets you the GPA and you're good to go. I hope this helps you guys. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.